Dear students, in this chapter triangle, we have already learnt about classification of triangles, triangle is possible or not, and angle sum property of triangle. In the previous discussion, also we have done type 1 related to exterior angle property. So today we will start the sums related to type 2 about exterior angle property. Right? Earlier we have done about exterior angles or how to find a missing angle by applying this property of exterior angle. Whenever we were given with any two interior angles or one interior or one exterior and other we need to find. Right? Now today we will start our question whenever we are given with the angles within a variable. Right? So here you can see a figure in which triangle ABC is given and this line BC has been extended to point D. Right? And here you can see this angle A is given to us as 2x and angle, 3, uh, angle B as x and angle C as 120 degree. Right? So here how you will start this question, how you will solve this question. So first of all you will draw the figure that we have already drawn. Second step that we need to give the numbering. So here you will give the numbering in any way. I have started the numbering from here. Angle 1 is 120 degree, angle 2 is 2x and angle 3 is x. Right? So here you will start the question by writing here in a triangle ABC. So what is given to you in this triangle angle, angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. So you have written here. To find what we need to find here angle 2 and angle 3. Right? So Angle 2, now you will think that angle 2 and angle 3 is already given to you that is 2x and x. No, this is not the exact value of an, any angle. So you have not heard about the angles as x, 2x, 3x. Always we heard about the values of angles as 120, 150, 30, 90. So that means here we need to find the value of x so that we can put this value in this angle and you will find your angle as angle A or 2 or 3 or B. Right? So here you will start the question because again here exterior angle is given to us and again you will apply the same property that is exterior angle of triangle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles. So exterior angle is what? Angle 1. So you will put here angle 1. Sum means plus. Two opposite interior angles means angle 2 and angle 3. So you will write an angle 2 plus angle 3. Angle, what is the value of angle 1? That is 120 degree. From above you can see value of 2 is 2x and angle 3 is x. Right? So here 120 is equal to 3x. Now how I have written here 3x? Yes, you have done this concept in the junior classes of like terms. So you can see here these are like terms. Why like terms? Because the variables in C in both these terms. Now here you will keep this x as x. Now how these this 3 come? Now you can see here with x no coefficient is there. That means what? That is 1 is there. So you will write here 2 plus 1 that is 3. Right? So here now 120, deg 120 degrees equals to 3x. Now, again, this concept you have done in 5th standard as well as in 6th standard. What? 3 and x. There is no sign between them. That means which sign is there? Multiplication sign. And whenever multiplication sign changes to the another side, it will change into divide. So here, 120 will be divided by 3. And on 3 tables, 120 comes on 40. So here you got the value of x. That is 40 degree. Right? Or you can see, you can write here like this, x is equals to 40 degree. So now you, here you found the angle 3. Angle 3 means x. So you have found the value of x. That means angle 3 you have found. So now what is the next step? You need to find the value of this angle. Angle 2 as 2x. So here you will write here angle 2 is equals to 2x. Now 2x means again 2 multiplied by x and 2 multiplied by x means what? 2 multiplied by 40. And 2 multiplied by 40 means what? 2 multiplied by 40 means 80 degree. Now here you got your answer of angle 2 is equals to 80 degree and angle 3 is equals to 
40 degree right so move to the example number two so here is example number two now you can see that again a figure is given to you a shape of a triangle and here a triangle is given to you as pqr and this line has been extended to point s right so here you can see in this figure 3x is given 2x is given and 150 is given right so here how to solve this question so let's start we will first draw the figure second step we need to give the numbering to the figure so i have given the numbering as angle 1 as 3x angle 2 as 2x and angle 3 as 150 so here you will write the uh, in the beginning in a triangle pqr angle 1 2 3 whatever is given to you you will write here and to find we need to find what angle 1 and angle 2 we need to find the value of angle 1 and angle 2 right again you will write here exterior angle property why exterior angle again because give it they have already given us exterior angle and opposite to interior angle so you will apply this property here exterior angle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles and you will write the value of exterior angle what is the exterior angle here you will see from the figure that is angle 3 sum means plus two opposite interior angles mean angle 1 and angle 2 you will write here angle 1 plus angle 2 what is the value of angle 3 here you will see from above angle 3 is what 150 degree angle 1 is what 3x and angle 2 is what 2x right so here 150 degrees equals to 5x and here you will write the value of x now how you will change this 5 to the other side no sign between 5 and x that means it will change into divide right so here 5 will divide 150 degree and on 5 table 150 comes on 30 so here you got the value of x so now you got the value of x not the values of angles so that means we need to put this value in these angles for finding the value of these particular angles so here how many angles we need to find we need to find these two angles so that means you will take here two partition right so here i have taken here two partitions and in these two partition you can see here angle one and angle two i have written right and angle one is what angle one is equals to 3x and angle two is equals to 2x right so here you can see 3x means what 3 multiplied by x so that means 3 multiplied by 30 from where this 30 came it come from here right so what is the value of x that is 30 you will put the value of x here that is 33 multiplied by 30 that is 90 degree right so here angle 2 is what angle 2 is equals to 2x that means again 2 multiplied by x you will put the value of x as 30 2 multiplied by 30 means 60 so here you got the value of these angles that means an angle angle 1 is equals to 90 and angle 2 is equals to 60 so here you can see that these were very easy examples and you can do many more examples related to this question so students we have already been sent to you the worksheet and now all of you are able to do that worksheet but please before starting the worksheet must go through the youtube links we have sent to you on your snap homework it will be easy for you to solve the questions thank you